Good morning, Atlanta Scaler peeps. There are lots of weird things about me that you guys don't know about. So let me share some of them. First of all, I had a cardiac arrest when I was six uh, weeks old, actually six months old. My parents accidentally uh, overdosed me on nose drops. And so that has affected my working memory and how I read. It's very hard for me to track, a, you know, across a line. So I had to work a lot harder than most people in medical school and in my residency, but I graduated at the top of my class and made Alpha Omega Alpha Medical uh, Honor Society. All right, so, uh, also, I was almost killed by a serial killer in Galveston. Uh, somebody approached me on the, a creepy person, approached me on the beach, and... Uh, it's a it's a funny story actually, and I found out two years afterwards that he's the Killing Fields serial killer. When he was about to strangle me, he looked at me and asked me what I did. I said, "Oh, I'm a physician and a black belt karate instructor," which I'm not. But anyway, it worked. He went away. Uh, my parents are both phys were both physicians. They were extremely abusive physically and emotionally. Uh, but we got really valuable lessons out of that, despite the broken bones. Uh, I had idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpose at 15 times real fast, and my father, a surgeon, actually was the one who removed my spleen. On my mother's side, we have Cherokee blood, and we also have our Uncle Red, who was the uh, um, uh, temporary head of the CIA. He was a rear admiral in the Navy, and he... Uh, was in charge of the Polaris uh, project, so he's a pretty big deal. On my dad's side, Charlemagne rewarded uh, my family with uh, a barony, basically, because uh, my family was one of the 12 gentlemen barons who drove back the moors. So I am actually considered a baroness who shops at Target. Also, uh, you know, we have a lot of interesting medical uh, people. Um, for example, my um, great uncle, Ignacio Baraquer and Jose Baraquer, both were cons are considered the fathers of ophthalmology, inventing cataract extractions, corneal transplants, etc. And Luis Baraquer Roviralta uh, is actually also famous as the father of Spanish neurology. He started clinical neurology in Spain. My abuelita was the uh, pianist for the uh, National Theater of Spain, and she was partial albino because there was some, you know, cousin marrying cousin kind of action going on there. Uh, also, Vidal Baraquer was my, um, I don't know how, how he was related, but I think he was a great, great uncle. He was cardinal, one of the cardinals of Spain. Uh, who did I marry? I married my husband, Runa Medhus, who was my flight instructor, made $400 a month, had high water jeans, and, and was... I, I, I married a very poor guy, and it was uh, love at first sight, though. We got married six uh, months later and had five children. And motherhood is my favorite op occupation. Uh, I've been a physician for over 30 years and loved, loved, loved it. My patients were like, and are, like a second family to me. Uh, I was putting a central line in a drug addict in the ER as a resident, and he woke up and stabbed me with the needle, and I developed hepatitis C, which I was treated for, and is now gone. I am well known by my children, especially my daughters, that I don't like, I don't do many petties. I hate shopping. I love just wearing flip-flops and shorts. All right. Uh, I had a serious horseback riding accident, even though I was wearing a helmet. Uh, I fell off a cliff while galloping up it, and then the horse tumbled down on top of me. So I had a bunch of broken ribs and a broken, and not a broken skull. I had a cratered helmet, basically. Uh, anyway, also, Eric's death was something that really set me on a journey to help others because I heal best, and that's another thing people don't like, know about me, by helping others. Also, a relative with two types of terminal cancer, cancer set me on the path to Atlanta Scaler to do Scaler healings, and he's still alive now, believe it or not, I worked on him. Uh, I almost died in the tundra a few years back in Norway, where we have a little cabin. We're gonna go there pretty soon because we have to mow the roof, believe it or not. 
So, yeah, I got lost in the fog. And, uh, you know, 17, 18 hours later, they finally found me, the Red Cross. And uh, my core body temperature was 84, which was really low. It's like one to two hours, uh, you know, short of death, according to the survivalist uh, doctor who treated me in the hospital. And oh, that's all I can think of now. But there's all sorts of other things. Um, just thought you would like to know me better. Thanks for listening.